you are a proud linux user you fly helicopter using terminal you use terminal based translators to chat with your german girlfriends but when you are working in a project where you need to access readme files continuously you are using a bloated gui or a web browser to read those readme files that doesn't seem fair right well don't worry i'm here to restore the culture inside you again about terminals so the tool is called glow glow is a terminal based markdown reader designed from the ground up to bring out the beauty and the power of cli and it renders all your markdown readme files or any files with 256 bit color support now you might ask you can get by with using cat tag or less well you can actually uh, get by technically but it won't be increasing your productivity neither you will be able to see the file in its original format and so on like the documented like md files and it's written in go by the way this glow cli you can use glow to discover markdown files read documentation directly on the command line and stash markdown files to your own private collection so that you can read them anywhere glow will find local markdown files in your subdirectories or a local git repository and it supports most of the key binds from less and vim commands so you are not going to miss anything all the data stashed is encrypted end to end and only you can decrypt it i will explain this in later in the video and you can install glow from your package manager or you can download the binary from the github release page so here is the release page and you can download the binary from this portion but i believe you are going to download it from your package manager as you are using linux right but if you want you can also build it for yourself and that requires go to be installed because it is written in go you can simply run glow without any arguments to start the textual user interface and browse local and stash markdown like glow and it will open the textual user interface that is tui and glow will find local markdown files in the current directory and its subdirectories or if you are using in a git repository glow will search the only git repo project i'll show you that and about this glow that this section is called section right you can see if you tap like click on tab it will go between stashes that is like section and here in this bottom area these are called pages so you can do like h or l to go to different pages and see what are the like markdown readme files that you have in that current directory right if you are using git again so let's just say that i go into a git repo file so i'll just go into uh, this ssh project file and if i do glow over here right you'll see that there are only 23 local files and these are the files that are inside this git project actually it will not fetch the other ones so if you hit enter it will open the file right but that's about glow and if you want you can uh, like list down all the md files that are there over here so let's just say that i want to check this file right and what i can do i can do glow and i can type that file name and it will open and it will show you all the details so see uh, it just exited out from that md and it printed out all the details so this is how you can do it right and if you press question mark it will show you the hotkeys that it has i'll show you that so let's just say i want to go and inside here if i press question mark it will bring up this uh, other menus that are present over here right and you can also stash your documentations locally stashing is a great way to keep track of things that you need to reference often basically uh, you can for example i want to stash this hacking.md documentation file right so for that i can press s and it will stash so you can get all this stashed file over here by pressing tab and it will come here so that's about stashing and when you run glow next time without any arguments you can browse through your stash documentations stashing is private its contents will not be exposed publicly and it's encrypted end to end glow works with the charm cloud to allow you to store any markdown files in your own private collection 
Charm is like the open source organization behind Glow and they have their own cloud setup. Now let's just see how you can do word wrapping. So you can also set a maximum width at which output will be wrapped. Dash W flag enable you to do that actually. So for example, I can do Glow and then W. This W represents word wrapping. And if I hit like for example 60 and then the file name okay and this is the file name if i give and see it is only uh 60 pixels it is coming only down to the 60 pixel or the width basically but if i increase this to 160 or whatever right see it is taking this much but if i don't uh specify anything it will take the entire uh, like size of it and i prefer not to set any word wrapping flag by the way Either way, I keep my terminal open in a different screen when I'm doing any kind of project work or anything. That's why. And then you can even open a document in a paging mode using the dash P flag. So I'll show you that quickly. For example, again, I want to open this hacking.md. What I can do, I can do P and see this is what paging means paging means that you are not going to be exiting like when you do glow and then file name it just exits into a new line right but it's not going to exit and it will be in a, so now you'll be able to see it directly for example if i hit k it will go up if i hit j it will go down and using q i can end like enter outside and glow also supports background color styling you can choose a style with the s flag glow dash s and then you need to specify uh if you want to like uh get light mode then you need to specify light and then the file name right so as you can see when i used light uh it just didn't work on my terminal because i'm already using a custom one i'll get into that but uh you can also use dark right if you're using a white terminal this way but if you don't still it will work so if you are using a default color profile in your terminal it will work perfectly but if you are using a custom color profile like me for your terminal then dark mode will work properly light mode might or might not work and anyways like no one uses light mode though i believe <laughs> right and it uses dark mode by default i'm using uh, sky level so that's the reason i did not work for me the light one that's about glow let's just talk about the encryption right encryption is using by issuing symmetric keys basically a generated password and encrypting it with the local ssh public key and inherited by the open source charm library so again charm library is the organization behind that it's open source although that encrypted key is then sent up to the server their server the charm cannot read it since they don't have their uh you know your own private key and when you want to decrypt something or view your local stats or anything that key is downloaded from their charms server and decrypted locally using you know ssh private key when you actually link your account the symmetric key is encrypted for each new public key and this happens on your machine and not on their server so they're never going to see your encrypted you know unencrypted data so that is kind of an overview of how it works right and that's it guys do let me know how the video was and if you liked it please like the video and subscribe to my channel I post about Linux stuff and development videos and I'm a software developer and I use these uh, types of tools in my daily life and guys many people doesn't know these types of tools that are available in Linux and how beautiful Linux is and I want to share these small things about Linux that makes it such beautiful most of the quote unquote development channels and you know general Linux channels just shows shit that barely benefits to the community or only talks about javascript or cpp lead code things those are good but like no one is actually exploring this side of things so that's why i'm going to focus on the fun part and my goal is to show you how beautiful linux and development on it right and see you in the next video ciao